Hello, a very good morning to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, talking to all of you on this Remembrance Sunday. Sunday, the 13th of November, 2016. Now, the reason I'm dressed as I am is because it is Remembrance Sunday. And one asks the question, what does remembrance mean to you? Because in just under one hour's time, at 11 o'clock, the nation shall go silent. At 11 o'clock on Friday, the 11th hour of the 11th day, the nation fell silent because we were remembering. And one asks ourselves, yes, the world leaders always appear at remembrance. Everybody appears at remembrance, but what does it mean to me? So I thought this morning, in uh, the course of uh, explaining that, of course, we're on at 10 o'clock tonight sharp, I would talk a little bit about remembrance with you uh, just before the silence at 11 o'clock. Over the years, I've attended many, many remembrance services. And I've tried to, when I was touring as a young actor, to reach as many different places as possible. So I might be standing at a humble war memorial in a tiny, tiny village. Or I might be standing at the Cenotaph in London. And either way, there were people who had been affected in some way by the acts of war. But what does remembrance mean to me? I was brought up in a household where, in actual fact, the household had suffered a lot from World War. My grandfather was in Gallipoli with the Scottish horse. My uh, other grandfather was with the Argyles in the trenches of the Somme in the First World War, the 1418 War, as they talked about, the Great War for Civilization. And, of course, my father was in the Second World War as a young 18-year-old, along with many, many others, in their 90s now. Some of them, an old managing director, friend of mine, well, he's not so old, but his father is 98, and he will be laying a wreath at the ceremony at Birkenhead today. He's an ex-para, uh, a paratrooper, the same as my father was. My father was in Japan at the time of Hiroshima. He was in Norway. He was in India doing guard duty at uh, the end of the empire, freedom at midnight in 1947. And uh, he was in Norway. So there were so many theatres of war. He was also at Nijmegen, dropped in there as a para and a radio operator. Hence the